Well, that worker at SFO was sent to the hospital following that stabbing attack, and the man wielding the knife is now in police custody. KTVU's Christian Captain joining us now live from the airport with the latest details on this ongoing investigation. Christian? Yeah, police say that they are reviewing video surveillance that captured this attack, which is just the latest in a string of violent encounters that have happened here at SFO so far this year. Witnesses tell KTVU that the stabbing happened here in the baggage claim area of Terminal 3 shortly before 5 a.m. Officers arrived on scene and located an adult male victim who was suffering from stab wounds. Officers rendered aid and transported the victim to the hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. Police quickly found their suspect in the same area, 48-year-old Samuel Douglas Day. He's been booked into jail for attempted homicide. Police say neither the suspect nor victim were travelers. Witnesses say the victim worked at the airport. Witnesses also say the suspect appeared to be unstable and may have been homeless. Police are not confirming that detail, but stress this incident happened in a non-secure part of the airport. Anyone can literally walk off the street and uh, be in this area. Uh, know that we have officers here 24-7 that are here for everyone's safety. This stabbing is just the latest in a series of high-profile incidents at SFO. Just last week, a man was arrested after bringing parts of the airport to a standstill with a bomb threat and suspicious package. In June, police arrested a man after he reportedly attacked three people with a large knife or machete. And in January, officers shot and killed a man who had a pair of realistic-looking airsoft guns and pointed one at them. For all these incidents, uh, not only are they all investigated, but we look at any kinds of trends that might be occurring. One passenger making his way through SFO said words of these incidents don't concern him. Now I actually think it'd be a great time to do it because security is going to be at its top level right now, so it actually gives me confidence. Now we did reach out to SFO to find out if the airport is concerned about these events, uh, did not hear back. We did, however, hear from the TSA, which says although this latest incident does not fall under their purview, the TSA says it's always a good idea for passengers to be aware of their surroundings and tell authorities if they see somebody acting suspiciously or erratically. We're live at SFO, Christian Kaftan, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Okay, Christian, thank you for the update.